The woman accused of shooting and killing a traveling nurse in Everett has finally been brought back to Washington State to face justice. In June, we told you that Christopher Wilson was shot to death. The lone suspect is his former girlfriend, Shantaya Grimes Hamilton. Everett police say she was on the run for about a month before she was arrested hundreds of miles away. Fox 13's Jennifer Dowling joining us in the studio tonight. Jen, so how soon will she face a judge? Good evening. She's expected to make a court appearance later on in the week. It took several weeks to get her extradited from Ohio to Washington, and Chris Wilson's family was starting to wonder if she would ever be arraigned. We also uncovered new allegations and court documents that show she may have been upset that he was using her car the night before he was shot and killed. Christopher Wilson's father wants to remember his son for his infectious personality. Well, Christopher was a fun loving young man, liked fishing, liked his video games, liked cooking, always with a joke. Christopher, I've never seen him necessarily a down and out person. In June, his son was found shot to death inside his apartment off of Baker Avenue in Everett. The discovery prompted a months-long manhunt for Chris's former girlfriend, Shantae Grimes Hamilton. She was found miles away in Toledo, Ohio. There's a relief to where which an individual is in custody. Chris was actively working as a traveling nurse at Providence Medical Center when he was killed. Charging documents show June 9th, just hours before the shooting, his mom got a tense voicemail from Grimes Hamilton accusing Chris of taking her car without permission while the two were at Tulalip Casino. Surveillance video showed Chris in the car alone for a short time before the two eventually pulled up to his apartment together later that evening. Investigators believe the two talked, then he went inside and she drove away. Investigators allege she came back at a around 3.25 a.m. They say security video shows Chris coming outside to meet her before she followed him towards the back stairs. About 45 minutes later at 4.12 a.m., neighbors reported hearing shots. Investigators said security video showed her run back to the car to the driver's seat, turning off her headlights just before exiting the apartment property. No other persons were seen fleeing from the residence before officers' final arrival. Chris's father told us that he believed his son was trying to end the relationship before the shooting. We have a young man who was a hard worker taking steps to distance himself from a, a young lady who obviously had deep, who was deeply disturbed. The medical examiner's office determined that Chris was shot four to five times and that the muzzle of the gun was more than two feet away when he was shot. Investigators say they talked to the traveling nurse company that Grimes Hamilton previously worked for. They reported that she did not show for an assignment in Spokane in May, and they had not heard from her since April. Reporting in the studio, Jennifer Dowling, Fox 13 News.